Hi, I'm Lee. Welcome back to the channel Fix It for Resetting. I've been to see my friend Jack Dobbins um, and we've picked up 10 consoles and a bag, bag full of controllers and bits. And uh, they're all broken. So let's go through this, see what's wrong with them to start with and see if we can fix any of them. Stay tuned. Right, so here we are on the overhead, all lined up. So yeah, 10 consoles, three, six, nine, ten. 10, yep, correct. Uh, right, when I went around there, he already had these Xbox Ones pulled out. Um, he told me this first one, I think it's that first one, yeah, I've written on, I've written on one of these. So this first one um, does work, but doesn't read this. So hopefully that should just be a drive swap, and I've got some other drives and spare drives. Um, now these three, he didn't want much for because he basically said they turn on and turn off again. Um, now there are certain ones, depending on how quickly it turns on and off, could be, um, you know, the shorted power rail or it could be anything else internally if, if it's a long beep on beep off. We're going to quickly test all these and see what we can find out. So yeah, but if they do work, if these are simple fixes, um, I will give Jack more money uh, for these three, but we'll see when we get into it. All right, there was also got two PS3 Slims and four PS3 Super Slims. And as you can see on these ones, they haven't got the disc drives or missing the sides, and I think some are missing the tops. Right, let's quickly go through all these one by one. Right, so this PS3 Super Slim, um, it's written on there 12 gig, no HDMI out. Um, we've got a panel missing there. We've got that missing there, so no HDMI out. Oh, it looks like there's a strip missing from the front as well. That looks all right. Um, looking down in the HDMI port. Right, inside that looks fine. So we'll test all these, we'll plug them in in a second. I'm just gonna go through these very quickly. Uh, no one. HDMI. Don't know what US is. Unsure. <laughs> issue. You'd think issue would be IS. Right, that one has got a destroyed HDMI port. So that's just an HDMI port change, hopefully. See there, it's in two halves. All over the place. That's that one. Next one again. No hard disk. None of these got hard disks. This one again, no HDMI output. And that port, that port seems to be okay. Or is that a loose pin on the, in there? Oh, here we go. You can see that there's a pin bent up in there. So again, probably HDMI port. Next one, and this is a 12 gig version. AG, all good maybe. Just says stiff door. Um, yeah, maybe. So maybe that's just not been put together quite right. I mean, it opens. It opens and closes, so I think that's probably just needs a clean up. HDMI port looks all right in that one. So yeah, I didn't even know they did a 12 gig version, but hopefully this one's all right. We'll just give it a good old clean up. All right, so the PS3 Slims, USB. US, useless again, I don't know, unsure, issue, uh, USB ports look or look fine on there, no USBs on the back, uh, and that HDMI port is absolutely destroyed, so maybe this is an HDMI port, not USB issue, it's missing half the plastic in there, you can just see the pins floating in the air, and a couple bent up at the back. So that's another one, HDMI port. Again, this one's saying no HDMI out. USB ports at the front look good. And the US, um, the HDMI port looks good. So we'll have to check that one out. And yeah, these are all the um, Xbox with uh, beep on beep off. Been apart, not even been put back together properly. 
HDMI port looks okay. And the USB. Another one he said beeps on and off. Had nice gold trim on it. Uh, HDMI port looks a bit iffy, but doesn't look too damaged. That hopefully would work. So look at that soon. Another beep on, beep off. HDMI port slightly split at the bottom, but the internal looks all right. So do the other ports. So another one. Right, so let's start with this one. I've written on that one, DRD. I think his other ones had NRD. No, doesn't read discs or not reading discs. So apparently this one doesn't read discs. HDMI port, slightly split open again, so I might need a new one. Right, so we've got this one plugged in. Let's press the power button. Uh, lights come on, but it's not beeping. Where's the other camera? Oh, so you just heard it come on the uh, TV there. So yeah, you can see the lights on there, and it's just gone off. Why have you just gone off? So as you can see, there's no beeps on there. So we've got a picture. Is that going to turn off again? If it does, that could be a hard disk issue maybe. Right, it's staying on a bit longer this time, but the screen is still on that. Right, so this is staying on now, so I don't know why it turned off. So it just synced up a controller. Right, see, so we are just going to put a game in this one. I can hear the disc spinning up. Yep, so that is not reading. We've got the disc spinning up, but nothing on screen. So, yep. So that one's correct. Not reading discs. Right, so hopefully this one is just going to be a disc drive swap. Next up is this one, which is one of the power on, power offs. So let's plug it in. Uh, the HDMI port doesn't look damaged. Too bad. Right, let's turn this one on. So this one's turning on. It's not turning off again like it's meant to. Uh, HDMI. Alright, oh, so that has just gone off. So that's quite long. Is that going to be a hard disk? Let me see if anything comes on the TV screen. No, nothing. It's not even registering on the TV that's even getting a signal. I can hear it trying to read the hard disk. This could be a hard disk problem. So if that's just a hard disk, I might be giving Jack some more money for that one. We'll see. I'm probably going to go through all these in a separate video. Right, that HDMI port's fine. Again, another beep on beep off, supposedly. Right, so. Now that is a beep on and straight off. And um, if we look at our power brick as well, that's um, orange. Goes white and goes back to orange. So. This one, hopefully, is just going to be um, shorted power rail. When it beeps on, beeps off like that, that quickly, I think that is usually a shorted power rail, which is like what I uh, did in one of my previous videos. So that could be the same again. So again, if that's nice and simple, I should give Jack some more money for that one. Right, and then our one with the nice shiny gold front. Supposedly this is beep on, beep off. There is some... Sounds like something rattling around in there. 
some loose stuff. So what does this one do? Come on, there you go. Ah, so that's turning on. If it beeps off now, this could be another one that might not be able to be fixed. But no, let's stand on a minute. beeped as if it was turning off you know it's turned off again and it's turned on again is it it's like this whole front is setting it off well, let me plug the hdmi in ports are damaged but working you can hear that turning on let me just get my other camera set up all right so that's the gold one focus there's the gold one and it's up on the screen right that is uh, that is turned on I might blow out the names, don't want to show other people's names in here. Right, I'll sync the controller to this one. Set a synced. We'll skip the sign in on this one. Right, so that's on. Um, I have loaded up a disk and installed it. It is working fine. Right, so just to show you, I'm going to put that in there. Goes in okay. And I presume that's going to pop up somewhere else on here. Right, so there you go. Let's just jump straight into the game. So, Jack, I definitely owe you some more money for that one because that is working and might just need to change the HDMI port. Oh, it's looking good for Jack so far, giving him more money because it looks like these three might be able to be fixed. All right, now the PS3 Slim. Um, I don't really want to plug it in because you can see some pins down there I'm not sure what the pins do you know but those some of those pins do carry voltage and at the moment some of them pins are bent up and it's hitting the ground they're pressed against the ground on the HDMI port so if they've got voltage going to ground and I turn this on could blow something else up so, so yeah so not sure on this one yet because of that port Right, so the next PS3 Slim. HDMI port looks fine on that one. Uh, so this is saying no HDMI, out, no, no HDMI out, even though the port looks fine. Plug that in. We'll put our HDMI. I mean, that's that, that HDMI goes in quite nice. Power on. Let me take you over to the screen on this camera now. I've just pulled the HDMI out and put it back in and now it's detecting it okay right, so I've just put the controller in and okay this one's going to file system on storage is corrupt okay Maybe that's a problem. Let's wiggle the HDMI port. Wiggling the HDMI port is doing nothing. It's, so that's fine. Maybe that's what the trouble is with this one. Maybe it was a problem with a hard disk. We'll see if this goes. All right, so that has been sat there for five minutes and not got anywhere. I think this is just going to be a hard disk problem. No free disks. So, yep, yeah, so we think this one, that one, oh. Didn't put my mic on again so if you couldn't hear me I always wander off and forget to put the mic back on right so that one is probably a new hard disk so I could put a 500 gig hard disk in there for probably um, about 10 or 12 quid but we'll see when we're if I'll make videos on that one right the 12 gig stiff door right let's just make sure this one works if not, I can deduct money from Jack <laughs> for telling me it did. No, I wouldn't do that. A lot of these are untested and you just take the gamble anyway. Well, let's turn it on. We've got a green light. And hopefully you can hear. That's just turned on on the television. It wasn't turned off properly last time.
Right, so there we go. Displays are right, sinks are right. User one, so this has probably been reset. Version 466, and yeah, flash memory, 12 gigabytes. Didn't even know they did that. A PS3 Super Slim, why would it have 12 gigabytes? That's going to last two seconds. Right, that one works. So this one we do pay a little bit more for anyway, because it did work. Just needs a good old clean. And probably that will release the stiff door. Do these, do these slide off? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, it's got flash memory, but again, missing the hard drive and the caddy. But yeah, we can get a oh, we can get a hard disk for that. No HDMI out. Right. So we can see a bent up pin in there. So that is going to be an HDMI port change. That one, the HDMI port is trashed as well. This one, the other 12 gigabytes, no HDMI out. Um, that looks okay. Let's plug this one in. Power HDMI. Feels like it slots in nicely. Sale. Green light. Nothing on the TV. Um, are the super slims the same where you hold the button down for two? 10 seconds for double beeps to reset reset the uh, the output right so let's shut that down now if it's anything like the others you hold your finger on it and wait for the second beep so there's one let's go do a second one I don't know No, that's shut down. Let's try it again. Hold my finger on it. No, it can't be the eject button because that just releases the door. How do you reset a Super Slim, or can't you, without a hard disk? Right, I'm not sure whether it's not going to reset because it hasn't got a hard disk in there, so I don't know whether this one works or right. 60 gig. Can we get it into the right place? Right, I think that's sliding. Now let's see if we can do a hard reset. Feel the hard drive spinning. Nope. Left my mic off again. Useless. Oh, I've just got the PS3 update software on a USB. Let's see if this makes any difference. Let's see if it'll boot up or reset with a USB in there. Or maybe this isn't the way to reset it. What is it doing? Alright, so this one we're not getting any power out of USBs. Just put my USB sort of socket tester in there. I'm getting no voltage out of there and the green light is on and turned on. So God knows what's going to be wrong with this one. This one needs a lot of investigation. 
Yeah, so that one, I haven't got a clue at the moment. That one will probably be a video. Right, so that's it. All checked, all kind of diagnosed. Um, will we make profit? Yeah, we should do. Um, hopefully these Xboxes are going to be repairable, the ones that are power on, power off. Um, one might be a hard disk, one's just a disk change and I have spare ones. Uh, but they're going to go for about 90 quid. Although I am going to have to spend probably 15 quid on getting power supplies for them um, and put like remotes with them. So there's a bit of expense on those ones. Um, right, so these PS3 Slims and the Super Slims, they all go for around sort of the 50, 60, 70 pound mark. Um, but we do have um, some outlay to go on these, buying the new hard disk and the HDMI ports as well. Now the HDMI ports only cost sort of two or three quid each. I could probably buy a load from China for cheaper. Um, but if you were, if you wanted to get someone to change the ports for you, it probably wouldn't be worth it because someone will probably charge you 30 quid to take, uh, to change an HDMI port. Uh, so if you can do it yourself for sort of the three or four pounds, then, you know, it makes it worth it. And for the hard disks, I can buy 500 gigabytes hard disk for sort of eight or nine pounds. Um, so there's a bit of expense still to come out of this, including the money I purchased these for um, and a bit of work. But I enjoy working on these. Hopefully they're all going to get fixed. They're all going to have a good clean out, new thermal paste. And I think we'll still make some good money on this. We'll, we'll get some profit out of this. I won't tell you how much I paid for all of these just yet. Um, I might do in one of the other videos. We're going to probably video repairing most of these. So if you want to find out how much I paid for them and how much I end up making out of this deal, you're going to have to subscribe and hit the notification bell to see when I upload a new video of fixing these. Um, and also, while you're at it, don't forget to give us a like, give us a comment, um, and that's it. I look forward to working on these. Next video, before I get into this, uh, I have this Xbox One S I'm going to be looking at. Um, James JR Reselling bought this at the car boot um, off the same guy that I bought that PS4 off of that I fixed two videos ago, I think it was. Um, and yeah, this one apparently powers on, powers off. But I've looked in the back and the HDMI port is destroyed. So hopefully that's causing the short and that can be fixed. So I'm going to fix that one. I'm going to change the HDMI ports because I've already bought them. And we'll do that one in the next video. So hope you enjoyed this one. Leave us a comment down below. See if you think this was worth it. And uh, I shall see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And uh, I shall see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Do you want to know what I'm laughing at? What? You said Snooper Slim. Snooper? Snooper Slim. <laughs> so these PS3s and the PS3 Super Slims. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, so the PS3 Sim, Sims. There you go.